Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel Doll Design. Today I'm going to show you how to make pillowcase ramper. It's very easy to make. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial. I have already made my pattern paper, so I will upload the pattern paper on my website so that you can go and download free pattern paper. There are people who ask me for free pattern paper, so I decided to come up with pillowcase ramper so that you can also make this baby ramper for your kids or you can even make it as a gift for someone i have three rope right here i twist it together and i come up with this and i use the fabric to cover the raw edges you can use your fabric as a strap around the neck and i use a button for the cloud you can also use snap that totally depends on you but i Put a button right here this is how it is and this pillowcase ramper is for three to six months old child go to my website and download free pattern paper please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't if you're just stopping by thank you so much for watching and make a comment down below if you have any questions if my tutorial has been helpful thumbs up and let's get started <music> thing that you have to do you take your front pattern paper this is the front of my pattern paper I fold my fabric into two this is the front of my fabric and this is the back of my fabric when you fold it into two place your pattern paper on fold you can see my pattern paper is on fold you just spin it all around and go ahead and cut it out this pattern paper already include one centimeter seam allowance. Do not add any seam allowance when you're cutting out your fabric. So I just want to mention that. So I will just go ahead and cut it all out and then I will pin my back pattern paper on my fabric on fold and I will show you how to also cut it out. I have also pinned my back pattern paper on my fabric. I fold my fabric into two. So I just fold it into two and I place my pattern paper on fold. That is the back pattern paper. Make sure you also place it on fold when you're cutting them out. So you just go ahead and cut it out just the same way you cut out your front dress. So I have cut out my front fabric, you can see that, and I also cut out the back dress. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to cut our bias binding. So what you're going to do, just cut a piece of fabric, then turn it over like this, fold it as a diagonal way. So we are going to cut it out like this. Once you have cut it out, then you decide the width of your bias binding so the width of my bias binding i'm going to cut one and quarter inch i will just place my roller and take my rolling cutter this is one and quarter inch i will just go ahead and cut it out you can see how it is the purpose of us folding it as a diagonal way once you do that when you pull your fabric you can see how it's stretchy but if you don't do it like that, when you cut out just a straight line, there is no stretchiness on the fabric. It's very hard. So when you fold it a diagonal, when you just pull it like this, you can see the difference between cutting it like this and cutting your bias binding like this. So go ahead and cut out your bias binding Make sure that you cut enough so that you can use it to bind the leg hole and the arm hole. If you want to use your bias binding for your strap, make sure you also cut your strap. I have cut my fabric. This is how it is. And I'm also using rope this time. I twist it together just the same way I twist this. So you just cut three ropes together and you just twist them around so this is how i come up with this the length of my rope is 35 inch if you are using rope make sure you cut a longer one if you are using your fabric to make a strap cut a longer fabric so that when it's too long you can always cut it out it is better to be on the safer side than you cut short 
length of strap and then you have to start cutting it all over again and this is my bias binding that i've already shown how to cut and i also cut a piece of fabric right here fold it into to take a measurement of two inch by six and a half inch so this fabric we are going to attach it on the clutch right here so that you can stitch your buttonhole or snap so you cut two pieces make sure it's on fold when you measure two inches by six and a half inches so i cut two pieces right here and i also cut a tiny piece of fabric right here maybe one inch by one inch so that you can use it to cover the raw edges of your rope if you're using your fabric as a strap you don't need this fabric so this is my May dress this is the front of my dress this is the back so i use my marker to mark the front of the dress so this is how i cut my fabric let's start put the ramper together first thing that you have to do you open your front ramper this is the front of my fabric and this is the back and you put the both front fabric together what you're going to do you're going to pin the both side seam together take your pin pin the both side seam together I have pinned both sides seam together. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, stitch the both sides seam with one centimeter seam allowance. Once you have done that, then you take your bias binding. If you are using already made bias binding, you don't need to go through this, but if you're using the same fabric to make your bias binding, this is the front of my bias binding and this is the front of my bias binding. You put the board front together like this. What you're going to do, you just stitch it a diagonal way. Once you stitch it like this, you turn it over like this. Place the second pieces on top of it. Both front fabric are facing each other. Also go ahead and stitch it a diagonal way. So go ahead and stitch your bias binding together and your dress together. I have stitched the both side seam of my ramper together. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to use our bias binding to bind the both armhole and the leg hole of the ramper that we are making. So what you're going to do, you open your front ramper. So this is the front of my ramper and this is the back. So this is the front of my bias binding. I will place it at the front of my ramper like this. So I'm going to pin around the boat armhole and I will also pin around the leg hole. Go ahead and pin your bias binding to bind the boat armhole and leg hole. I have used my bias binding to pin around the boat armhole and I did the same thing with the leg hole. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance on both armhole, one centimeter seam allowance on both leg hole. Once you have done that, trim a little bit out from the seam allowance, then fold the raw edges inside and then fold it again and top stitch. I believe a lot of you know how to use bias binding to bind your dress. For the new subscriber, I will also show how you can use bias binding to bind your dress. So. Go I have stitched 
my both arm hole and the leg go. This is how it is. I take it to my ironing board. I give it a good press. And I also take it to my overlock. I overlock the top edge. And I fold inside one and a half centimeter. Or you can also fold inside half an inch. This is how it look right now. The next thing that you have to do is to put your elastic around the leg hole. So what you're going to do, cut elastic. The length of my elastic is nine inch. Or if you're using centimeter, cut 23 centimeter. Place a pin like this. So we are going to put it around the leg hole just like this gradually. Before the elastic goes inside all the way, make sure to use a pin to secure it over here and continue working your way through. I have put my elastic around the boat leg hole. This is how it is. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, go ahead and stitch it in place just to secure the elastic in place. Give it a top stitch. And you also go ahead and top stitch the top edge right here. I have top stitch it in place. This is how it is. And I've also secured my elastic. This is how it is right now. The next thing that we have to do, take your piece of fabric. We are going to stitch it at the crotch area. So you just turn your fabric, place it like this. Make sure both front fabric are facing each other. And you're going to pin it in place. And over here, make sure that it's about one centimeter. Go ahead and pin them in place. I have pinned it in place. This is how it is. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, give it a top stitch all the way down. At this side of the fabric, you can see that is, there is more than one centimeter. Just measure one centimeter and trim out the excess. And you repeat the same process on this other side. So once you have done that, then we can now fold it to cover the raw edges. So go ahead and top stitch. I have top stitch. This is how it is. I take it to my ironing board. I fold inside one centimeter, one centimeter. And then I fold it again. This is how it is right now. Make sure to press it properly. And you just fold it on top of it to cover the raw edges right here. So you take your pin, you just go ahead and pin it in place. Make sure that both uh, fabric are totally pressed. Once you have done pinning, take it to your sewing machine, give it a top stitch all the way down. You stitch on the side at the bottom and then on the side. And you do repeat the same thing on the other side. Stitch it all the way down on the side, at the bottom, on the side. So go ahead and top stitch. I have stitched it together and I just go ahead and stitch my button hole and I stitch my button with hand stitches. This is how it is. The next thing that you have to do is to put your strap around the neckline of the ramper. Place a safety pin inside and just walk your way through. This is the final look of my pillowcase ramper. This is how it is. You see how beautiful that is. It's very easy to make. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial. Go ahead and download free pattern paper. And this is the second pieces that I've already made. I make two. You can even make this for someone or you can make multiple color of it. It's super, super beautiful. So I just want to show you how it finally look once you have done making your own pillowcase ramper. Thank you all so much for watching. Before you exit, click that red button that says subscribe 
and also turn on the notification bell button. If you turn on the notification bell button, don't forget to select all so that anytime I upload, you will be the first to be notified. And have a beautiful day. Bye.